So for an entrepreneur, my you know, advice to all such young people is, you must have fire in your belly. You want to do well, that guy is not going to sit still till, till he you know, actually does it. Success to an outsider looks like it's all glitz and glamour. In reality, a lot goes behind it. It's the outcome of relentless innovation, adaptability to the unforeseen, years of persistence and hard work. Let's take a closer look into what truly lies beneath the surface. There's a stereotypical persona attached to the word billionaire. One conjures up an image of a tech whiz, an oil mogul, or perhaps a veteran investor. In early May of this year, a new figure entered the fray of billionaires. Quite unlike any of his peers, his name is Dr. Arvind Lal, and his claim to fame is Dr. Lal Path Labs Limited, a medical diagnostics company. Since 1977, when the company had only a single clinical lab, Dr. Lal has driven the business to encompass 200 clinical labs, 2,500 patient service points and 6,500 collection centers across the country. A journey that's lasted four decades seems to be going from one high point to another. Let's hear from Dr. Lal himself about his unusual route to the top and what milestone lies next for him and the business. I always wanted to become a fighter pilot in the Navy till I discovered when I was to you know, go to NDA that I had a minus point number. So once I discovered that I could never serve on a battleship, there was not much point for the best cadet NCC Navy to join the Navy. Then I found myself in AFMC Armed Forces Medical College and my father's you know, unexpected death, untimely death in 1977, forced me to come back to Delhi and take over the lab. So there was no looking back and um, you know, I, I never thought that I'd want to become an entrepreneur. I just wanted to do a simple job and that is to run a pathology lab. And that's how I started. Then I introduced the uh, franchising in healthcare for the first time in the world, and that was purely accidental. So one day it, uh, you know, occurred to me that, uh, you know, I could also set up a, a small collection center somewhere. And initially, nobody would give me a collection center on hire because they said that Dr. Lal, we know you very well. Once you get in, you will never get out, which was actually a fact. So that's how the the idea of franchising was born. Over years, we, we polished this concept and uh, lo and behold, today we are running 2,600 collection centers all over, all over India and majority of them are franchised out and runs beautifully. India was not the same. You were not allowed to import you know, machinery or instruments into India. So I was dealing with ECIL. They also said that, well, we've got a hormone um, analyzer kind of an instrument and when I saw it, my eyes actually popped out. And we introduced hormone testing for the first time in a lab in India, and we never looked back. And in 1986, then we also introduced computers for the first time in a medical facility in India. We used a satellite uh, communication uh, way back in late 90s. And that was for the first time anybody had made use of actual live online communications. I discovered very early in life that I am a team player. There is, there is nothing known as that you can do everything yourself, you cannot. Especially in medicine or in healthcare, you cannot. It was the Indian labs like ours which took the quality to world standards and not the hospitals. Hospitals came in about six or seven years later. So what I discovered was that this business also required logistics, packaging and interviewed a few people and I'm happy to say I uh, got along very well with uh, Dr. Om Manchanda who was joined as a COO and today he's a managing director. End of the day, a business will only grow if there's a preference for your brand. And it was very important for me to understand what will build that preference purpose of raising private equity money was more to do bring in uh, professional management, also look at growth opportunity. And I think that marriage of both venture fund and the company and the professional management coming in 
really work very well for us there are various segments of people there are various segments of patients and they all seek different value out of our reports how do we provide quality and consistency at scale so that every customer in every single part of india in every single office or her visit gets the same quality of service which is what dr lal path lab stands for difficult times bring in opportunities also i am proud to say that the labs in india have not let india down that much i can say very very forcefully and truthfully and we are going to expand and we will do even much better you know we are born broader from a different point of view and that is just do your job and move on and especially in my line you know where there's so much to do and so many tests to be introduced and so many labs to run it never occurred to us that you know that money is the the main thing at at the at the bottom of all this and with my wife vandana dr vandana lal we have made a foundation known as alvl foundation basic thing is integrity maintaining ethics and maintaining giving and uh, doing your work you know which is absolutely quality oriented it's not possible to go forward because you have to be true to your work if you're not true to your work if you take shortcuts you will never be successful in life if i ever get to see those billions which you just mentioned we would much rather spend in you know philanthropy for upgrading the uh, primary healthcare in india